Hi guys, Barbara here. Today I'm going to be making burger dogs. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my guest, Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> Alright, so before I get started into all the ingredients that we're going to need, let me tell you where I got this recipe from. Somebody shared it with me on my Facebook. I think originally it probably came from BuzzFeed or Pinterest, but after Jada and Joshua and I took a look at it, we decided we simply had to do this. I don't eat hot dogs because of the fact that it's loaded with sodium and MSG, so imagine how excited I am to be doing burger dogs. Now let's get into the ingredients that we're going to need. We're gonna need some type of hard cheese, so I'm using sharp cheddar. All I'm doing is cutting a few thick slices off of this big block, and then I will cut them into long strips, kinda of like if making cheese sticks. So, let me set this aside and take care of the ground beef. This is a three pound tube, 70-30 blend, and normally I would use the 80-20, but I picked up 70-30 today because for one, it was cheaper, and plus I want the burgers to be a little bit more juicy. So let me go ahead and squeeze it into this big bowl and sometimes this can be so hard to do because it's kind of hard to get it out of the wrapper. This is some diced up onions and of course some diced up jalapeno peppers with the seeds so this is going to be really really hot and I'm using red crushed peppers just for flavor and color and some sea salt and of course some black pepper. This is all I'm going to need to season the meat today. So let me go ahead and get this all worked in and my hands are clean okay but you can use gloves if you want to. So after this is well incorporated I'm going to grab my first big ball right here and I've wet down the cutting board to make it a little bit more easy for me and I'm just going to go ahead and press the meat onto this cutting board into the shape of a rectangle and although this rectangle is beautiful, it's still too thick, so I'm going to use this drinking glass or tumbler to go ahead and thin it out. And of course, I want to keep that rectangular shape, so I'm going to go ahead and fix it up right now. And then it's time to add my first piece of cheese. And all I want to do is roll the meat onto the cheese and just get it covered. So this is too much meat, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess and then take a look at my first burger dog right here. So let me go ahead and set this aside, roll off the rest. And now for this one, I'm going to use pepper jack cheese because I want a different flavor and different color. So halfway through, I've washed my um, cutting board off too, guys, because it was getting too sticky with the meat, okay? So let me go ahead and cut off this excess and then show you what I have here on my platter. Only two of them have the pepper jack cheese, all right? The rest all have the sharp cheddar and I'm making some regular burger patties right here for the people who don't want to eat the burger dogs and I have this much more to go and I'm going to go ahead and roll these off and then Joe is going to cook them on the grill see right here six to eight minutes because the cheese is oozing out he's using tin foil okay all right guys so we all hungry out here and so mom is like yeah you guys gotta make one so we're gonna make another one and um look how beautiful look how beautiful this is so we're just gonna get some, you know, some mustard. All right guys, so what happened was I made one to go do a thumbnail. I made one to go do a thumbnail picture and then everybody moved in here and started making them. So what do you have on yours? I have the pepper jack one with the meat. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the, the onions, uh -huh. relish, and I have mustard on it and I believe that is it. Okay, Jada, show us what all the toppings are that we're choosing. Grilled onion, mm -hmm. sauteed, sauteed onions. onions. Um, relish, mm -hmm. pickles, salsa, mustard, and ketchup. So we don't even need mayo on this. Not even. Put some, some onions. I already ate mine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it had onions. <laughs> Voila. First of all, I want to thank all of you that took the time to go check out the three videos that I uploaded before this one. Those videos covered the visit from my special guest, Mario Ramirez. For those of you who don't know, Mario is a local news broadcaster with Fox LA, and he does field reporting in the morning times, and while he's doing that, he periscopes. So you may say I met him through periscope, but I actually see him on the TV every morning. And um, he talks back to his followers, which I really am grateful for because 
I was brave enough to ask him how to go about um, being a guest on a segment on like the morning show on, on, at his television station. And he was so uh, cool because he gathered all my information and gave it to the producers. I don't know what's going to come out of that in the future. I hope something good. But later on, he came back and he asked how could he go about tasting this good food because he checked out my show. Of course, I invited him to come to the show. It took like three weeks for us to get the schedule straight because he was so busy. And he came and he spent a wonderful afternoon with us. I totally expected him to come in and spend like an hour. But he came and he spent like three, three and a half hours with us. He periscoped. He showed Jada's talents and skills with her singing and everything. And then when he left, he made a vow that he was going to do anything possible to help Jada get her little music career started. So that was really cool because nobody really offers to help anybody anymore, right? So that was really, really good. I feel blessed. I'm so glad he came. I'm still kind of high off of it. This is the week later. <laughs> and I still feel his energy in here. So thank you guys so much for watching the show. If you go ahead and make this, come back and tell me what toppings you use, what spices you put inside the ground beef, you know, that kind of good stuff. Just come and uh, put it in the comments. I really like hearing feedback from you guys. I want to thank you guys for buying my books, um, for checking out my website and buying some of the other stuff that I'm selling. And of course, for sharing the video and for telling people about the show. Thanks so much for watching. Until I see you guys again, take care. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Please check out my other channels, the Product Review channel, my family vlogs, and Joe's channel. You can find all the links in the description box below.